Welcome back for our final segment, and it's a big one as we pay tribute to the uh, class of four, the seniors, the class of 2013. So many expectations for this group, and those expectations still exist if they can put their uh, foot on the gas here in the final month. Uh, what vibe do you get about this quartet right now? Well, I do feel like they, um, they take a lot of pride in the legacy that they want to leave. And although they have been inconsistent, they're still on the, probably on the same page more than they have been in the last four years, uh, which is good. I think they feel each other's frustrations, and they're trying to help each other through um, these high expectations that are put on them. And so they really feel a sense of responsibility to have things end the right way. You know, they came in here as freshmen, they won a championship. They came in as sophomores and they helped us win a tournament championship. So they go to two straight NCAA tournaments and really have this expectation that they're going to go to four straight. So it's not easy to, to play under those, that heaviness. Um, and I think it's weighed on them a little bit. And it's my job and my challenge to try to lighten up that load and put players around them that can help them carry that load. And we've tried to do that. I think we've really put in place a great team of, of good pieces that can give us depth at every position and these seniors just need to realize that and play and have some fun and do what they're good at you know play to their strengths and if they're not making shots then so what find another way get somebody else a shot and if they are making shots then go with it and score 20 but I think they've struggled because they are unselfish kids and they want to be kind of perfect all the time um, so I, I am eager to try to help them have things end the, the way that they want it to even though maybe it's been some bumps in the road throughout the season it's all about how they finish. Yeah, a lot to look forward to in the final month. The uh, senior class, mm -hmm. our St. Francis Hartford Hawks story. Two Connecticut kids, a New Hampshire native, and one more from Richmond, Virginia. Daphne, Nakia, Alex, and Ruth Ann. The class of 2013, with two trips to the NCAA tournament already on its resume, in hopes for one more come March. I feel like we have so much potential, but uh, we just have so much that we can give. And we're on the brink, but we can definitely go over the edge. And um, the amazing part about this season is that like, we're still not there yet. We still have room to improve. And you want to leave a good legacy. You want to win a championship. You want to move on and go to the first round, maybe even second round of the tournament, and do something that no team has ever done. And sometimes it crosses your mind. But then I always just try and like, I'll, I'll go and look towards the future and then I try and bring it back, just go day by day, because I figure like that's the best, the best way to go. Memories are still being made for this quartet, but the scrapbook is already bursting with others. I would say the different travel experiences, you know, being able to go to Mexico and go to France um, and winning the championship my sophomore year, even after all the highs and lows we had had in that season. And I remember my freshman year we beat Louisville here, who was ranked, so that was, that was a huge thing. Uh, just playing UConn, even this year, I mean, we got smashed, but it was, it was a really good experience. Like, I had a lot of fun. I know all the girls had a lot of fun, you know. It's always good playing against, you know, higher-up competition. Sometimes you have, you know, little tips like, oh, who stole my brush? Or we're in the locker room, like, where is it, you know? <laughs> just little things like that but overall like we've never had any big fights nothing like that like we all get along really well which is great because it is so true when you're in you know like a room full of girls like you can definitely but <laughs> it's just funny because uh, freshman year I didn't think that four years is gonna go by you know as fast as it did but I mean I'm glad I came here Hartford um, even though it's what 45 minutes to an hour away from my house but I, I really go home you know this is my home this has been my home for four years now there are some days where it just hits me like okay in a few more months you know I'm done with this sport you know we say all the time like we're gonna be normal people and it's gonna feel weird you know because the sport has been such a big part of my life for my entire life I don't know what it's like to not have it so it can be overwhelming to think about it at times but exciting at the same time absolutely I think about it all the time and I try not to. I kind of pretend like I'm not graduating <laughs> every day. I'm just like, oh, like, it's just gonna go on forever. But it's really hard to think about and I know I'm gonna be so upset when, like, when that day comes because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to give it up. Like I love basketball more than anything and I've been playing since I was eight and it's been my entire life. Life will go on after basketball, but it's sure to hit them hard that the end of college is near and the group is recognized on senior day set for Saturday, March 2nd. Like right now, I could say, hey, I'm not going to cry, but, you know, experiencing that moment on that night, um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to cry. So I'll have my tissues and I'll bring that with me and have some for the rest of the seniors as well.